Estonia, a small Baltic gem nestled in Northern Europe, is a country that often flies under the radar. But hold on tight, because today we're about to unveil 12 shocking things about Estonia that will leave you absolutely speechless. From its cutting edge technology to its enchanting landscapes, this European nation has more than a few surprises up its sleeve. Estonia, officially known as the Republic of Estonia, is nestled along the Baltic Sea in Europe. It's like a well-kept secret, bordered by the Gulf of Finland to the north, the sea facing Sweden to the west, Latvia to the south, and Lake Pipus along with Russia to the east. The country boasts a diverse landscape, with its mainland, larger islands like Sarama and Hyuma, and over 2,200 other islands and islets dotting the eastern coast of the Baltic Sea. Covering a total area of 45,339 square kilometers, Estonia is not just a country, it's a picturesque mosaic. Now, let's talk about the heart of Estonia. Its capital city, Tallinn, and the vibrant urban area of Tartu. These cities pulse with life, culture, and history. Language is a crucial part of any culture, and in Estonia, the indigenous language takes center stage. Estonian, the official language, is not just a communication tool, it's a piece of the nation's identity. It's fascinating to note that Estonian is the world's second most spoken Finnic language. The land we now call Estonia has been home to humans since at least 9000 BCE. Fast forward to the 13th century. Estonia was one of the last pagan civilizations in Europe to adopt Christianity, thanks to the Livonian Crusade. The country witnessed centuries of rule by various powers, the Teutonic Order, Denmark, Sweden, and the Russian Empire. But it was in the mid-19th century that a distinctive Estonian national identity began to emerge. Jumping into the 20th century, Estonia faced a series of challenges during World War II, facing occupations by the Soviet Union and Nazi Germany. Yet, after a resilient period, the country restored its de facto independence from the Soviet Union in a historical event known as the Singing Revolution in 1991. Today, Estonia stands as a developed country with a high-income advanced economy, ranking 31st in the Human Development Index. It's a democratic parliamentary republic divided into 15 counties and is a proud member of the European Union, the Eurozone, the OECD, the Schengen Area, and NATO. With a population of just around 1.4 million, Estonia might be one of the smaller members of these prestigious groups, but it consistently shines in international rankings for quality of life, education, press freedom, digitalization of public services, and the prevalence of technology companies. Number one, the country has over 2,000 islands. When we usually think of thousands of islands, our minds might wander to tropical paradises like the Seychelles or the Maldives. But here's the catch. Estonia is far from being a tropical destination. So, what's the deal with these islands, you might wonder? Well, unlike those palm-fringed, postcard-perfect islands, most of Estonia's islands are a bit off the beaten path. And when I say off the beaten path, I mean it. These islands are not your typical tourist hotspots. In fact, they're almost entirely untouched by the advances of civilization. It's like taking a step back in time, Imagine this, wandering through charming villages on islands where time seems to stand still. That's the experience you'll get on islands like Hyuma, Kinu, and Sarema. These are our favorites, and you're about to find out why. First up, let's talk about Hyuma. This island is a hidden gem, boasting lush green landscapes and a coastline that will leave you breathless. It's like a secret paradise for those looking to escape the hustle and bustle of modern life. Now, let's sail over to Kinu. An island that's not just beautiful but also rich in culture. Kinu is known for its vibrant traditional costumes, distinct folk music, and a way of life that has been preserved for generations. It's like stepping into a living time capsule. Last but certainly not least, we have Sarima, the largest island in Estonia. With its medieval castles, picturesque windmills, and serene beaches, Sarima offers a perfect blend of history and natural beauty. It's a haven for those seeking tranquility. Number two. Wife carrying is a sport. You might be wondering, wife carrying? Is that even a sport? Well, yes it is. And it's one of the most peculiar pastimes you've probably never heard of. Although it hasn't quite made it to the Olympics, this Estonian tradition deserves a gold medal for its sheer entertainment value. Imagine this, husbands carrying their wives upside down on their backs, racing several hundred meters through a designated track. And no, 
This isn't a joke. It's a real championship sport in Estonia. The husbands pick up their wives and race, but here's the catch. The wives are carried upside down, with their legs over the husband's neck and shoulders. It's not just a stroll in the park. The track must have two dry obstacles and a one meter deep water obstacle, adding an extra layer of challenge and excitement to the race. And just to spice things up, the wife being carried must be your own, or a neighbor's. And most importantly, she must be at least 17 years old. You heard it right. This is a world championship, and only heavyweights need to apply for this one. Now, you might be thinking, how did this bizarre sport even come about? Well, it originated from a Finnish legend, Ronkainen the Rubber, who made his gang members prove their worth by carrying heavy sacks on their backs. Over time, the tradition evolved into the modern-day wife-carrying competition we know today. But it's not just about strength. Strategy and teamwork play a crucial role. Imagine the communication needed to navigate through those obstacles with your spouse hanging upside down on your back. As strange as it may sound, this sport has gained popularity, not just in Estonia, but also internationally. Teams from all over the world gather to compete in this quirky and challenging event. Number three, free public transport for locals. I know what you're thinking. Free public transport? Is that even possible? Well, in the charming city of Tallinn, it certainly is. Imagine being able to hop on a bus, tram, or trolley bus without reaching for your wallet. It's like Estonia is saying, come on in locals, your ride is on us. But before you start packing your bags, hold on tight, because there's more to this story. So here's the lowdown. Tallinn, the capital of Estonia, has this incredible system where residents get to ride the entire public transport network for free. Yeah, you heard it right. Locals travel without spending a dime. Unfortunately, for us visitors, the free ride privilege doesn't extend our way. Bummer, right? But hey, the system is still pretty darn cool, and I'm about to tell you why. First off, let's talk about the ease of use. Navigating Tallinn's public transport is as simple as ABC. With an extensive network of buses, trams, and trolleybuses, you can practically get anywhere in the city hassle-free. And the best part? The system is so user-friendly that even a tech dinosaur like me can figure it out without breaking a sweat. Now, the big question. Why on earth does Tallinn offer free rides to its residents? Well, it turns out it's a smart move to encourage the use of public transport, reduce traffic congestion, and promote a cleaner, greener environment. Hats off to Estonia for thinking ahead. And let's not forget the value for money. For locals, this is a game changer. Whether you're commuting to work, heading to the grocery store, or just exploring the city, you're doing it all without opening your wallet. It's like having a golden ticket to Tallinn's transportation wonderland. Number four, online voting. Back in 2005, Estonia made headlines by becoming the first country in the world to introduce online voting. Yes, you heard that right. Picture this, you're wandering through the lush Estonian forests, and suddenly you feel the urge to cast your vote. No need to find the nearest polling station. Just whip out your device and let your voice be heard. Estonia, often hailed as the most digitally advanced society globally, has truly embraced the future. With Wi-Fi hotspots scattered across the entire country, even in the heart of those dense forests, staying connected is a breeze. This means you can update your Instagram feed or send a WhatsApp message while immersing yourself in the breathtaking Estonian scenery. Estonia has taken the concept of e-governance to a whole new level. All government services are available online, making life not only convenient for the locals, but also for savvy travelers. Whether it's renewing your driver's license or paying taxes, you can do it all from the comfort of your hotel room or a cozy cafe in Tallinn. And for those of you who love to document your adventures on social media, Estonia's got your back. The seamless integration of technology into everyday life means you can share your travel experiences on Facebook, Instagram, or even Snapchat without missing a beat. Number five, the locals aren't religious. When it comes to religion, only 16% of Estonians consider it an essential part of their lives. It's quite low compared to many other places. But here's the twist. Estonia boasts an incredible array of well-preserved religious sites that'll leave you in awe. Our first stop on this religious journey takes us to St. Madeline's Church in Ruhnu, which happens to be the oldest wooden building in the entire country. What makes it so fascinating? Well, brace yourselves. 
This church was crafted entirely from the wood of shipwrecked boats. Can you imagine the stories those timbers could tell? Now, let's talk Tallinn. One spot you can't miss is St. Olaf's Church. Back in its heyday, it held the title of the world's tallest building until the early 17th century. But here's the kicker. It has a bit of an electrifying reputation. St. Olaf's seems to attract lightning like a magnet. Lightning has struck this church not once, not twice, but a whopping 10 times. The fires caused by these strikes in 1625, 1820, and 1931 tell tales of its shocking history. So, even though religion might not be a central part of daily life for many Estonians, their architectural heritage tells a different story. It's a testament to the rich history and unique blend of traditions that make Estonia a must-visit destination. Number 6. Flat but tall. When we think about a country, we often associate it with either towering mountain ranges or vast plains. But Estonia? It's got a little bit of both, and it's a bit of an enigma. Picture this. The entire country is predominantly flat, with the highest point, aptly named Egg Mountain, standing at a modest 318 meters, 1043 feet, above sea level. That's right. It's like the gentle rolling hills decided to throw a party, and Egg Mountain is the VIP section. While the land might be flat, the people are anything but. Estonia is home to some of the tallest folks in Europe. Estonian women, on average, stand at an impressive 169 centimeters, while the men tower at 180 centimeters. So, even though the landscape is low key, the locals are reaching new heights, quite literally. Estonian women have a reputation for not just their height, but also for being among the world's most beautiful. Now, hold on. It's not just an opinion, there's some data to back this up. Rumor has it that the country's appeal in the looks department might have something to do with the fact that Estonia boasts a higher ratio of international supermodels per capita than anywhere else in the world. And, you know, they say clean air does wonders for the skin. Number seven, it's mostly female. Now, picture this. For every 100 females in Estonia, there are just 84 men. That's a significant gap, and it's not something you see every day. In fact, the only place on Earth with a smaller percentage of males is the Northern Mariana Islands, a tiny US territory in the Pacific. With a population of around 50,000, it's an interesting comparison. But why is Estonia skewing towards the ladies? Well, it turns out that Estonian women tend to outlive their male counterparts by a good 10 years on average. That's right, a whole decade. Now, that might just be one piece of the puzzle, but it certainly goes some way in explaining why there are more women than men in this Baltic gem. And here's a bonus fact for you. The United Arab Emirates holds the title for the country with the highest male-to-female ratio. It's a staggering 2.19 males for every female. Quite a contrast, right? Number 8. The country has two independence days. Most countries mark their independence with a single day of celebration, but Estonia has a unique story to tell. Picture this, it's 1918, and Estonia breaks free from the clutches of the Soviet Union, gaining its first taste of independence. Fast forward to 1991, and Estonia finds itself under Soviet occupation for over five decades. That's a pretty long time, right? But here's the twist. After enduring years of occupation, Estonia manages to reclaim its independence once again. So not only does it have one Independence Day, but it adds another to the calendar in 1991. Now, here's the kicker. The first Independence Day is celebrated in February, commemorating Estonia's initial liberation in 1918. The second one takes place in August, marking the regaining of independence in 1991. Two moments in history, two significant dates, and two reasons for Estonia to celebrate its freedom. Number nine. 52% of the country contains forest. Did you know that a whopping 52% of Estonia is covered in enchanting forests? Yes, you heard it right. Over half of the country is a haven for nature lovers. Imagine the serenity of being surrounded by towering trees and the symphony of birdsong. So why is this so incredible? Well, for starters, it means there's an abundance of opportunities for adventure seekers. Whether you're into hiking, foraging, or simply soaking in the tranquility, Estonia has got you covered. It's a paradise for those looking to reconnect with nature. Estonia is about the same size as the state of New Hampshire, but here's the kicker. 
Nearly half of it is covered by these breathtaking forests. It's like a green treasure waiting to be explored. And it's not just about the quantity, it's the quality too. Estonia's forests are home to diverse flora and fauna, making it a haven for biodiversity enthusiasts. From rare plants to elusive wildlife, every step in these woods is a chance to discover something extraordinary. Number 10. The literacy rate is incredibly high. When we talk about literacy rates, we're referring to the percentage of people who can read and write. And in Estonia, they're knocking it out of the park. But what makes this small Baltic nation stand out? With a literacy rate of 99.8%, Estonia joins the ranks of countries like San Marino and Latvia. It's like the academic gold standard. Imagine strolling through the charming streets of Tallinn and knowing that almost everyone you meet is well-educated. But here's the interesting twist. It's not just about the numbers. Estonia's commitment to education is deeply ingrained in its culture. The country places a high value on learning and boasts a robust educational system. From state-of-the-art schools to well-stocked libraries, they've got it covered. While some countries struggle to reach universal literacy, Estonia is setting the bar high. And with a literacy rate comparable to San Marino and Latvia, it's clear that education is a top priority here. Number 11. People love singing. Why is singing such a big deal in Estonia, you might wonder? Well, it all goes back to a pivotal moment in their history, the singing revolution. Picture this, it's the late 1980s. Estonia is under Soviet rule and the people are yearning for their independence. During this time, the Estonian people were determined to break free from the shackles of the Soviet Union. But here's the kicker, they didn't resort to violence or aggression. No, they turned to something much more powerful, singing. Massive demonstrations erupted across the country and what were the protesters singing? Patriotic hymns and national songs. Now you might be thinking, how does singing lead to independence? Well, these songs and hymns were banned by the Soviet authorities. Singing them became an act of rebellion, a peaceful but bold expression of their desire for freedom. It was a way for the Estonian people to unite, to stand strong together against oppression. Imagine thousands of people gathered, their voices echoing through the streets singing songs that symbolized hope and resilience. It wasn't just about the music, it was a powerful form of protest. And guess what? It worked. The singing revolution played a crucial role in Estonia gaining its independence. Number 12, E-Estonia. When we talk about Estonia, we're not just talking about charming landscapes and medieval castles. We're talking about a country that has embraced the future with open arms. Imagine a place where you can do everything from voting to filing taxes online. Yes, you heard it right. Estonia has turned the mundane into the modern. This innovative approach isn't just for show, it's a game changer. The Estonian government has seamlessly integrated online services into everyday life, boosting transparency and efficiency in areas like healthcare and education. Need to see a doctor? No problem. Want to check your child's grades? Easy peasy. Estonia has it all at the click of a button. Estonia has a surprise up its sleeve, e-residency. Picture this, you can be a resident of Estonia without actually living there. This unique program allows people from across the globe, including big names like Angela Merkel and Barack Obama, to benefit from Estonia's digital ecosystem. And here's a jaw dropper. Back in 2005, Estonia became the first country to introduce online voting for its citizens. Yes, you can cast your vote from the comfort of your own home. Talk about embracing the power of technology. Estonia boasts widespread Wi-Fi hotspots, making it a breeze to stay connected wherever you go. Whether you're exploring the charming streets of Tallinn or the tranquil forests of Lahama National Park, you're always just a click away from the digital world. So there you have it, folks. Estonia, a small country with a big digital heart. From online voting to global e-residency, they've truly shocked the world with their innovative spirit. What do you think about Estonia's digital revolution? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more mind-blowing content. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.